Wrestling fans, the ninth annual Paul Bear Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive explodes into Christmas with 12 featured superstar guests. We can't bring you a live wrestling event due to COVID restrictions, but we'll be bringing you a series of cyber signings and meet and greets. On Friday night, November the 20th, and then during Survivor Series itself, Sunday, November the 22nd, fans around the corner and around the world can join former WWE Intercontinental and Tag Team Champion Marty Jannetty for a wild, no holds barred live cyber autograph signing here at MWF Studios. Get a personalized autograph from Marty signed live on the air and then mailed to your home. Join us now through mid December as the superstars help us continue our annual mission to update Santa Claus's GPS to find every kid's house this Christmas and put smiles on faces as we honor. Paul Bearer's memory. VIP packages are still available. Don't worry if you've missed a live superstar signing. Every star is signing enough photos while they're here in Boston to fill VIP packages through December the 19th. Whether you for your wrestling collection or to give us a holiday gift, if you're going to take part in any toy drive this year, please help our ninth annual Paul Bearer Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive. Visit bostonwrestling.com and our social media platforms for complete event and toy drive information. Before it started to go down a little bit in the early 1990s, but we're looking at the year 1988 as we have been with Marty Giannini. The year kicked off. I mean, you look at the, the gentlemen that were wearing championship belts right now. Hall of Famers across the board. Of course, the World Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion was Hulk Hogan, almost at four years as champion at that point. Uh, relative newcomer to the company, the Ultimate Warrior, uh, was being groomed for a spot later in the year. But the Honky Tonk Man was on fire, holding that Intercontinental Championship gold. And you had Strike Force, Tito Santana and Rick Martel is the tag team champion. So no matter what tour you were on with that company, whether it be A team, B team, C team, uh, some weekends even D teams, you had fantastic lineups across the board. Well, the guys, you know, there was just such huge talents. They, you know, they were able to run so many towns a night, it was ridiculous. And the, the, the money that was pouring in was unbelievable. Well, guys, we're working a lot though. I uh, went through my book and uh, when CBS called me and asked about the first year and leading up to WrestleMania one, and, and I calculated about 500 times that I laced up my boots during that year. Really? In 1985. In 85, you think you did 500 and shots? It's, and, and every year after that, up until uh, 90, 91, 500 matches. Because of all the television tapings, the pay-per-views, the matinee shows on the weekends. That's two a days. Double on shots. Saturdays, two days on Sundays. And uh, plus, if you're a featured match, and I was, always <laughs> featured match, they'd stick you in there all the time extra. Because they're trying to keep the crowd in the building for the show or something like that. And so. sometimes when it was really hot, they'd try and put you on early in one card and try and get you to another city so you'd be working twice at night, almost a triple shot. Yeah, luckily I didn't have to, to worry about doing, doing those, but <laughs> I've seen guys do them. Yeah, I know that was commonplace for Hogan during his big run when he was hot with Orndorff, Savage, Boss Man, and people like that. They'd go on first or second in one town and then... They'd take, I don't know, a private plane or something to get to another town and go on last there after already doing a matinee. Help the paycheck, that's for sure. Well, I, I did that with them. <laughs> we had an afternoon show and evening shows, jumping on a Learjet and doing an evening show. I, I, I did the run with them before all those guys you named off. Yeah, well, you had a run with them individually <laughs> yeah. in 85. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so before Orndorff, before all those guys, before Macho Man, I did the to run everywhere. You had for the sold big run. Out, sold out shows everywhere. Two, three, five thousand people sometimes outside trying to get in the buildings. Turn away crowds. Not just it, sold out in the building, but then you had thousands outside the arena trying to get in that couldn't. Was, you know, yeah, it was just so hot. The guys, you know, the talents were so great. Everybody worked so hard together and uh, it just it just made all the shows, you know, just people just were insane. To, to, to get in, and, uh, and it just kept getting better and better. 
Why is it that you think in 2020, when maybe if you put on a WWE TV show again, you may have one of the greatest group of athletes they've ever had in that company as far as what they can physically do with their bodies. But why is it that you think even now, 30 plus years after the fact, so many fans look back at that period in the 80s with such great fond memories compared to what they see on TV now each and every week? What was the magic? Wow, that's, a, that's not easy to describe. The, the um, you know, like you said, the guys t today, uh, huge talents. Could they, they do all this kind of crazy uh, acrobatics and flips and, 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 and things that we never, I never even dreamed about trying to do. And it was a, it was a different era. You know, our, our business changed from the times, from the 80s and early 90s to, uh, to, to now. But that's the uh, nature of our business and the, of most businesses, that things change. And the question is, you know, how well do you deal with the change? How do you take advantage of the change? How do you make, make the best of the change? And uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> so glad that I'm not trying to compete with those kids now, man. <laughs> I'm a, I not, want no part of it. I mean, they're just, they're insane. The things they do. Ours was a different, uh, a unique style, uh, establishing a rapport with the crowd and being able to manipulate a crowd of thousands and thousands of people out there with, with a movement of your body, with by raising your hand and, and pointing your finger. Thousands of people would scream and yell and go crazy. And, and it was just a, an amazing. Amazing time, an amazing feeling to be able to wield that kind of power. You know, there's, um, well, it's, it's a, psychology is a huge part of our, of our business, of our um, craft, I like to call it. And being a master of ring psychology means that you are a master of your craft. It's like being, uh, you know, Obi-Wan <laughs> of the, uh, Jedi, you know, you know your stuff, and and you know that's the, the guys from the the eighties and nineties. They were like the, they're like the Jedi. You know, they just were so smooth, they were so confident, they were just so, so good at what they did. You know, the interviews that we did, hundreds, thousands for e, you know, every city. You know, it's all changed. They don't do any of that anymore. Have they haven't for years? You know, there's, there was no, we didn't rehearse matches, talk, I mean, you know, now these guys rehearse matches for weeks before they have a match. I, 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 I can't even understand how they could do it. I, I can't do it. I couldn't do it. Wrestling fans, the ninth annual Paul Bear Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive is here. Coronavirus has been the Grinch in preventing a live wrestling event from taking place in 2020. But November and December will bring you an unbelievable series of live television tapings, raffles, merchandise, and cyber autograph signings, including two all-inclusive VIP packages you're not going to want to miss out on. We'll discuss a little later in this video. Let's take a look at this all-star lineup of superstars headed your way from the holiday season. Season, recent WWE NXT Cruiserweight Champion Leo Rush, who's going to be co-hosting Wrestling Insiders Rush Hour, the miniseries, kicks off our 2020 efforts Thursday, November the 5th. Leo was the first to open his heart to our efforts to keep Paul Bearer's name alive and put smiles on kids' faces. Then on Saturday night, November the 14th, WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, will be with us again, signing autographs, meeting, greeting online, as well as having his renowned artwork available. Friday night, November the 20th, Sunday night, November the 22nd, during our Survivor Series watch-along, former Intercontinental and Tag Team Champion Marty Jannetty will be with us live. When it comes to Marty, expect the unexpected. Early December explodes with brand new superstars coming to MWF Studios for the very first time on Friday night, December the 4th, during WWE SmackDown. Join former Intercontinental Champion and Nation of Domination member Savio Vega with rumors that the martial arts expert Quang may join us as well. 
On Saturday, December the 5th, batting down the hatches, former WWE and WCW tag team champions Brian Knobs and Jerry Sags, the Nasty Boys, will be live in studio for what should be an extremely memorable taping and cyber autograph signing. Great chance to get one of the top tag teams of the 80s and 90s together. Sunday, December the 6th, we're going to have an NXT TakeOver watch-along with WWE Hall of Famer Bushwhacker Luke. From 1988 through 1996, Luke had a memorable run in WWE with a career spanning the globe since the 60s. Friday night, December the 11th, one of the most powerful superstars in the history of professional wrestling, The Warlord, joins us in studio, looking back at his big run in the WWF from 1988 through 1992. Saturday night, December the 12th, join us for a rare appearance by a superstar that was undefeated in the WWF for nearly two years, Native American Tatanka. We cap it off Sunday, December the 13th with one of the future stars of professional wrestling. Having competed here in Boston Wrestling MWF, more recently in the Ring of Honor Pure Title Tournament, Wheeler Yuta. John Cena Sr. is going to be taking part in a live cyber signing as well and is working on recruiting even more superstars to join our efforts to update Santa Claus's GPS to find every kid's house in 2020. You never know who or what to expect as we work our magic to create smiles on kids' faces around the globe, around the clock. VIP packages are available now. Early bird pricing through November the 15th. It's limited to 50 fans. The VIP Elite Package, that comes with one autograph photo of all 11 featured superstars, plus a bonus Quang autograph date by 10. It also includes an autographed Paul Bear Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive 2020 11 by 17 poster and a raffle ticket to win a package of WWE NXT 11 by 14 autograph posters thanks to our friends at NXT down in Orlando. We also have a standard VIP package that includes one autograph photo of each of our 11 featured superstars, plus a raffle ticket to win a limited edition Drew McIntyre, one of only 36 WrestleMania 36 autographed, 8x10 photo from our friends at WWE. If you're not interested in an all-inclusive VIP package, don't worry. Each superstar will be available for individual autographs. Mail order is also available for your own personal items. Don't worry. If you can't join us for all of the live cyber autograph signings that are going to be streaming online, your 8x10 photo will still be signed and mailed to your home. If you get a VIP package after a superstar signing is already taking place, again, don't worry. They're going to sign plenty for the entire holiday season. Those that purchase individual photos, they'll be shipped right after the signing takes place. The VIP packages will be shipped in one giant package beginning December the 14th. We continued to miss the late, great Paul Bearer each and every day. His heart of gold continues to shine with our annual Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive efforts, and this year, again, will be no exception. 2020, it's been a rough year for all of us, but get ready for a season of Boston Wrestling Sports Memories and Legends while putting smiles on kids' faces. In December, that's what it's all about. VIP packages and individual autographs are available now at bostonwrestling.com.